This is Omega and you're watching Money Mondays. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to buy shares on Easy Equities. I'll show you exactly what to do on the platform whilst also explaining to you what shares are. So that way you know exactly what you are buying and how to make money from it as well. And to share with you how shares work on Easy Equities, I'm going to share my computer screen with you. So let's go. If you don't have an easy equities account yet, then it's very simple. What you're going to do is you're going to go to Google and Google the name easy equities, and it should be the first website that shows up. Just make sure it's www.easyequities.co.za or www.easyequities.io. If it's not any of those, then you're probably on a fake site. And then once you've landed there, you are going to open up your account where you're going to click register and then register. If you're watching this on YouTube, Instagram, or Facebook, then trust me, this will be a very, very simple process. Then once you've registered, you can now buy shares, obviously after you've deposited money into the account. So let's get to the part that everybody's interested in, and that is how to buy shares. So what you're going to do is you're going to click invest now. That's the first step. Um, and then this screen will show up where basically you'll just select investment type and shares. The other name for them is equities. And so you're going to click on equities and then you'll get a catalog of shares, right? So this is true for all the accounts types. If you just click on equities after you've obviously clicked on the account type, then you'll get a catalog of shares to actually choose from. And you can search for, for names and you can list them either by seeing their logos or by seeing um, their names. Keep in mind that some companies, their brand names aren't actually their actual company names. So just be aware of that. So I just always like to see the logos so that way I know exactly which company am, am I looking at. And so for this example, we're going to choose uh, Growth Point, all right? So we're gonna choose Growth Point. It's a property uh, company in South Africa, one of the biggest property uh, owners in the country, if not the biggest. And uh, yeah, we can see the share price right now. We can buy it. So the buying at price is 12 rand 87 cents. And if we were somebody who already owns this share, per share, we could sell for 12 rand 85 uh, cents. And so we're gonna quickly buy the share. And this is how the process works. You can see the price over there. This is per share. So if you obviously are buying two shares, it will be 12 rands times two. If you're buying 10, it will be 12 rands times 10. So we're just going to buy one share and we can click here one share and uh, we can immediately see that that's going to cost us 12 rand 87 but let's say we didn't have enough money to buy one share what could we do we could instead type the amount of money we'd like to invest maybe let's say we want to invest three rands and then see how many fractional shares or so so parts of a share um we would get for that three rand but we want to buy one share right so i click here one and uh, we have enough funds for that. We've got 38 rands in this account. So let's buy it. And we then click buy now. But before you click buy now, maybe take note of the actual investment cost. All right. So how much is this cost? How much is this costing you to actually perform the investment? You got the broker commission. And then there's an easy money at discounts, which is just an internal um, coupon from easy equities to discounts the brokerage fees. Then you got settlements and administration, value added tax, so VAT, and uh, securities transfer and admin. All right. And those are all the total costs. So it's not really costing a lot, it's just three cents to make this purchase. And then we press buy now. And in a couple of seconds, the transaction goes through and there it is. We are now the proud owners of uh, growth point uh, shares. And just like that, we are a shareholder. So that's how easy it is to buy shares on easy equities. However, this is Money Mondays. So I'm not just gonna stop here. I'm gonna answer another question. And that is what exactly are you buying when you buy shares? It's very simple. When you buy shares or when you sell shares, you are buying units of ownership in the business. Basically, shares are certificates that prove that you own part of this business. So in South Africa, if I want to register a company, I'd go to uh, CIPC. So you can Google CIPC. This is the entity that is responsible for registering businesses in South Africa. And I'd go to their website and I'd register uh, my company. Probably I'd use Biz Portal because it's a lot simpler, which is part of CIPC. And then I'm, I've registered my company and there it is. All businesses in South Africa, regardless of how big they are, whether it's Naspers, First Rand, Sassol, 
app. So whoever, they are all registered with CIPC and they have to have share certificates, right? So what is a share? Let's hear it directly from CIPC. What is shares? Okay, what is a share? Shares are the units into which the ownership interest in a profit company is divided. Basically, what it's saying is shares are certificates that prove that you own part of a profit company, so part of a company. So let's say we start a business and 100%, all right, that's the total percentage ownership. We then divide um, that percentage by 100 shares. So we issue 100 shares. So in this example, each share would be worth 1% of ownership in the company. So if I own 5% of the company, I would own five shares. I'd have five certificates. But let's say it's a company with 1,000 shares. If I own 5% uh, of the company, I would then own 50 shares because 50 is 5% of 1,000 and so forth. So for companies that have hundreds of millions of shares, Buying just the one is not really going to give you a huge percentage of control of the company um, or huge ownership stake in the company. So if we use Growth Points as an example, we can actually go see the list of prominent shareholders of Growth Points. So the major shareholders, those who own more than 2% um, of the company, here it is over here. We've got the Public Investment Corporation, we've got 91, we've got Ces Figula Capital, we've got Sunlam Investment Managers, we've got the Vanguard Group, MNG Investment Managers, and so forth and so forth. And uh, those of us who are very little shareholders, we fall under a category called other, and we own 43.9% of the company, right? And so this is one of the most important things for people to understand. When you buy shares, you are literally owning something. You own part of a business. Yes, you don't own a very large part of it because these are really, really big companies. And to own even just 2% of the business, you have to own 70 million shares, which is at this at the price that Growth Point is right now, 12 rands times 70 million. That tells you how much you have to invest to actually own just 2% of the company. So it's a really, really big uh, business. But essentially, that's what you're doing. You're buying units of ownership in a business. And how do you make money from them? It's very, very simple. You make money by selling them at a higher price than what you paid. So let's go see um, our growth point investment. So once you've obviously bought shares, you can get an overview of your um, account. Then you can press all holdings and then you can see the shares that you own. So these are growth point shares. They're already down two cents. And let's say now the price of growth point though has gone up. So it's gone from 12 rands to maybe let's say 13 rands or 14 or 15 or whatever amount of money above 12 rands 86. If we were to sell the shares, we would then generate a profit. So it's no different than say buying a banana for 50 cents from a farmer and then going to sell it at a taxi rank for one rand and making yourself a 50 cents profit, which in this example would be a hundred percent profit, which is pretty phenomenal. But for companies that doesn't always uh, tend to, to happen. So that's the primary way that you make money from buying and selling shares. So there it is, guys. This is how you buy shares. And of course, I will do a video on how to sell shares as well. Another question that tends to come up on how to buy shares is where do I get information? There's a lot of places to get information, but the simplest basic place to start is actually the company's own corporate website, right? So right now I'm on growthpoint.co.za and they have this section where if you click on investors, you will get to see all the information that you need to make an investment decision. So presentations about the business, the evidence that they pay, um, any news that they release, circulars, their credit rating, information about major shareholders, analyst coverage. So if any news from analysts are there, what are they doing in regards to ESG, the sort of green bonds that they have. And then of course, most importantly, their financial reports, and there's a lot of things that you'll learn, like what sectors is growth points in? What, what type of business are they? What are they doing? What's their history? All of that are things that shareholders need to learn. Just like if you were to start a company, you too would have this information about the business that you've started. So if you're going to join a company, it's very, very important that you have that as well. And here's an example with uh, Mr. Price. MrPriceGroup.com. You click on investors and you'll get like a whole lot of things. The investment case, reports and results, six year review, news that comes out, information about the shares, et cetera. And they even have a shareholder investors inquiry uh, section. Just in case you want to know things about the business, this is super important um, for you as, as an investor. 
But yeah, guys, there it is. That's how you buy shares on Easy Equities. And I hope you've gotten a little bit more information. If you like this video, then obviously subscribe, follow, share it with other people. So that way more people get more information on how to really, really do this stuff. Guys, it is simple. There's absolutely no excuse. Technology has made it easy. Just open up an Easy Equities account or any other brokerage account, deposit some money and buy the shares of companies that you wanna own. Make sure, of course, that these are shares that you believe will go up in value over the next coming years. Until then, everybody, goodbye.